answer, answer uh, Michael your question first. Uh, look at the WHO standards. What we are proposing mm -hmm. is comparable to EU and in certain areas slightly better than that of the US. So that's the fact. Secondly, look around the world. Uh, I haven't seen major governments sort of preaching fully to implement the WHO standard fully within a very short span of time. What because their pollution is not as bad as ours. No, that, that, exactly, that is exactly why our government is proposing to adopt this more stringent standard as our planning guidelines for guiding our development in the future and the years to come. But obviously, having set the standard is also important to ensure there will be sufficient support for us to act on it, which is a more difficult part. Now, there are areas that we are already embarking on actions. Resources have been devoted to certain projects, like the district cooling system for the new mm -hmm. development area, which would cut down power consumption and making savings. You have seen uh, the 450 million project, which we roll out to save uh, household or commercial building energies. You'll be seeing us introducing legislations to stipulate the minimum energy uh, efficiency requirements. But at the same time, we're also proposing to uh, our community that, well, less worked on a target, for instance, having at least half of our power generation coming from gas-fired instead of coal-fired generation, which will incur a cost because of the fuel cost difference and also the further investment. We're also reassuring the public that, well, in pushing for better use of cleaner fuel, we are also putting on another cap of monitoring the process, making sure it's relevant. Well, money. you know, you, you've run through a lot of things you say you want to do, and we, mm -hmm. I think the public's been hearing this for a long time, since the days of Tung Chi Hua. We're still talking about this. If you go out into the streets and you walk, oh. you're still breathing oh. air that you just can't breathe. It is terrible to breathe that air. For example, we've got uh, 2,000... Pre-Euro and mm -hmm. Euro One mm -hmm. buses still on our streets, right? Mm -hmm. These buses should have been gone a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Why can you tell that the bus companies get rid of those buses? Michael, you you hit it right at the nail of the the, the issue. Buses or uh, electricities might involve uh, the price element, the price tag. Uh, the importance of this this uh, consultation is that in, in order to achieve the standard w that we are proposing, which is more stringent than the standard now, we need at least that 19 measures, including some of the more controversial issues, mm -hmm. to be taken on board in a wholesale approach. We can't just cherry pick those which are easy to be done. We need all these 19 measures the out of the 36. The things should be done, obviously getting rid of old polluting buses. I am, I'm no, Easy I, to cherry pick and get them out. Get, get I, have, them. I have no disagreement with that, but there would be a politi political process to go through whereby... Well, as Isn't you, it time has gone past the politics in this case? People are dying breathing back there. If you ask me and if you, you ask the government, I think the government is fully determined that we, we need to take this forward. So it is important for, for the community to accept that well, these 19 measures as an initial step, not the final step, are all essential if we were to meet the proposal we are rolling out. So that would require a lot of discussion and work to be done, not just at the Legislative Council when it comes to voting of funds and legislation. We also need to go down to district councils to talk into details like how to rationalize bus routes, which we all know would have controversy. But having said that, having said that, I think there is no uh, sparing of effort for us to present this to our community for exactly the reason you have mentioned. I think we might have waited for too long that well the current I set think of you standard, have waited for too yeah. long. You're admitting that now. Yeah. Well I, I have said in other open forum okay. that well the current standard is simply dated. For Hong Kong to be a modern city, for us for our aspiration to build a greener city and also for us to take in the lead together with Guangdong to build a greener okay, I've got just a minute this is left. the way to go. I've just got one minute left, Mr. Yao. Uh, we, we talked about the cost rationalization mm -hmm. of bus routes and, and the community needs to uh, get involved in this. You've just said all that. Mm -hmm. uh, and and but you know, right away when your proposals came out, the power companies, the bus companies says, Oh, if we do this, uh, fares are gonna go up. 
uh, electricity bills are going to go up. If the public, if everything, if the cost of pollution is being, pa fighting pollution is being passed down to the consumer, where is the responsibility of the bus companies, the power companies? Don't they have some responsibility? Why can't they absorb some of the higher costs? I think we must find out with a, a happy solution where government will contribute, particularly in terms of uh, resources that should come from the taxpayers' money. We should have legislation and policy support in making certain changes. For the community at large, they, they need to chip in by and instance, the power companies and the bus companies obviously, do need to chip obviously, in too. Obviously, and that that will You'll be make work. them absorb some of the higher costs. Certainly, we well, every everybody need to chip in, be they the enterprises, the community, and there are also area which may require some sort of lifestyle changes, the way we use our buses, pedestrianisation. Some may cause a little bit of inconvenience and but these are lifestyle so changes. But I, I I think it's important for the community to think about well, is it something that we're, we're all longing for. If that's the case, let's go for it. Good place to stop. Thanks for watching Newsline. See you next week. Good evening. Thank, Thank you. you.